Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is Minister Paul in Northern California, where you're looking at right now. Um, wow. You just can't make this stuff up. It's 307 on February 21st, 2014. 307. You know, in my heart, I'm kind of really concerned. Uh, I'm not worried. We're not to worry about anything. I'm not afraid. We're not to fear, but I'm concerned about the month of March and April. I don't know why, and this is not a new thing for me. This has been on my heart since last year, actually, before this year even began. That for some reason in March and April, there was going to be some really biblical things occurring um, that we need to prepare for. So today, you know, praise the Lord, I've been refreshed and renewed and I feel strengthened. God bless all my uh, the people who listen to my videos and may the Lord comfort you right where you sit right now. You know, I was just watching a, a video from Bo Soldier, Shannon Johnson. He lives in California too. He has, the Lord gives him a lot of dreams. He was talking about, you know, how if you leave for a while, people will, will be concerned for you. And uh, people have asked me to even check in from time to time. and But he wanted to make it clear to the whole world not to follow him, to follow Jesus, that he just gives out the messages. And, you know, I honestly, it was an excellent message. I want to say the same thing. But I believe, you know, that the people that, that follow my videos and listen to them, I don't know why they use the word follow. It's not the word I would use. I would just, you know, on Facebook, your friends. I like the word friends or fellowshipping. What what if it said fellowship instead of subscribe? It said fellowship. <laughs> I'm just in a good mood today. I like that. The people I fellowship with, I believe, have enough wisdom because we all serve the same God and we're all equal in His eyes. That they're they they're smart enough and have enough discernment to know uh, <clears throat> that they follow Christ and they they that all messages that come from Christ. Uh, and, and those that don't and are able to discern that, they're, they're not worshiping man, they're worshiping God. But I do want to put that out there. So anyway, says the long-winded Paul it's in Sacramento. Um, I was reading from Jeremiah 20 today. My strength had been renewed and I made a video about thanking others uh, for prayer and that prayer changes things and there's power in prayer. And this word stuck in me, it, you know, it's been, I think, about three or four hours, and it's the word Peshur. So I am making this in real time as I do all my videos as led by the Lord. I simply Googled the word Peshur, and it says there's a, a Peshur Bible I had seen. Uh, I don't know what kind of message. You can uh, just put in Peshur, capital P-A-S-H-U-R. See, now I thought when I was reading Jeremiah 20, which I'll put a link to, that this was, uh, as led by the Lord, that, that this was a forewarnings, Peshur River, a dolphin sanctuary. I wonder where that's at. What's this, uh, the Department of Energy? See, you never know what the Lord, the Peshur River is this the same river? Let's find out where this is at. Uh, because it, it just, some things just stay with you and will not leave. And then you begin to realize that, you know, this is a a, a message from God. I, 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 You know where I found the word Peshur in, in the Bible? I've never heard of it, honestly. I wonder where it's at. I'm curious now. But let's, uh. Let's see where it's at. P.A.S. your river. Uh, it's in Bangladesh. Remember I had that, that night vision of that people were on their knees praying. They had black air, hair and light brown skin. You know, to this day, that still stuck with me. So here's some regions. I honestly know nothing about this. I'm just being obedient to God. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Undisclosed paid editing. Wicko Media. What's that? So anyway, 
Um, I googled Peshore and I was just going to do some reading about it real quickly um, here and is this the same article? Okay, Peshur, the Hebrew is this, and I'll, I'll put this in the link, was the name of at least two priests contemporary with the prophet Jeremiah. So apparently there are people who are mentioned in the book of Jeremiah. The name is of Egyptian origin. That's interesting. Peshur, the son of Amur. I, I'm just going to put a link to everything that I fall upon and ask you to pray over it. Warnings of coming judgments just leaped off the page at me. Warnings of co coming judgments because of the abounding iniquity of the times. Wow. It lists Deuteronomy 25, 3, Jeremiah 20. Are, are you kidding me? What I was reading, uh, just reading today, I ended up back on this. Zedekiah, Malachi, Nebuchadnezzar II. I believe I'm going to be reading a lot of Jeremiah today. The Peshur was also one of four men who advised Zedekiah to put Jeremiah to death for his prophecies of doom, but who ended up throwing him into a cistern. Okay, you learn something new every day. You know, we should never stop learning. But but let's do what the Lord had what I, I normally do. So I put up in here for sure, and let's just see where it takes it takes us. There's a whole bunch of different ones. I'm gonna type it out again because, okay, there's a for sure passion. For sure, there's what why oh hospital drive Sacramento. I'm just going to do some checking. I haven't done any uh, advanced this. I make these type of videos in real time and I said you should pray over them. I want to see where this is at. I lived in Sacramento for 24 years before I just moved 30 miles north. Uh, I'm just going to, looks like a doctor's office or something. Bruceville Road, my goodness, this is South Sacramento. This is the hood right here. Let me pan out a little bit. Right off of this is a 99 right here. Yeah, I know exactly where this is at. So Mac Road would be up here, right? And there's a Denny's I worked at for five years on uh, Mac Road. There's Mac Road. So it's right off the freeway. So this has to be Denny's. I know exactly where this is at. There's, you know what? There's, a, my son was born in that hospital back there. This should be a Denny's, right? It is just wow. This this is my old stomping grounds. Let me back out, back out because my son was born in a hospital like right over here, Methodist Hospital, and there's a Kaiser over there. What what are the odds? My son lives out here in Elk Grove now. But so right along in here is a couple hospitals. Let me look. Fairfield Inn. I grew up in Fairfield. So here's 99. Let's see what this is. I'm looking for uh, Kaiser Hospital and Methodist Hospital. I think I saw something. Uh, yeah, they call this Valley High. And it's really it'll become a really bad area. Mount Shasta, anybody? So so this is the one of the areas. South Sacramento. Remember that Highway 99, Mac Road area, and Elk Grove, the church, Greater Grace. Damascus Drive. Hold up. I'm uh I'm constantly amazed at what the Lord will reveal. You know, I, I was taking a shower earlier, uh, and my wife says, amen. <laughs> no, I'm just being honest. This is literally Damascus Drive. Do you, you know how many times, and others will bear witness that the Lord has showed me Damascus, 
There's a Damascus all over the world. I know right where this is at. I lived here for several years, um, and it was uh, it was very serious, very very rough neighborhood. I wouldn't recommend anybody going over in here and Friday or, or Saturday night um, without protection. I'm serious, and 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 if you don't know now, you know. Ask somebody. That Shasta just stands out, doesn't it? So let's do this. Let's go to Mount Shasta, which is about three hours north of me. Um, I have a friend that lives up there. Oh, that's Consumer, Consumers College, so yeah, we're really close. I'm going up to Mount Shasta. Just looking at a couple things. Barnabas. Hope. Okay, let's uh let's take a look at this. If you're if you're going up northern California, this is one of the the last cities you'll see. Uh, that you'll recognize before you hit Oregon. I've done that trip many times. Go up to Oregon and Washington and then head east towards like uh, Bend, Montana. I'll try to keep this video short. I I'm just being a watchman on the wall and obedient. There's Mount Shasta. So now I'm going to put... Uh, Damascus and to show you like how many different places okay there's a Damascus Oregon there's a Damascus Syria there's a Damascus Maryland there's a Damascus Virginia uh, but let's go back to Peshur this video may not make sense to anybody but me but I'm gonna put it out anyway so there's a there's a Peshur India there's a Peshur Bangladesh um, there's the Peshur River. So let's check out um, this India. I probably won't even open comments on this because, you know, the watchmen are under attack. And, you know, the Lord has given me great wisdom that it's not hatred or, or a bad thing to delete personal attacks, ignore them and move on. I, I've always had this thing against, um, you know, uh, deleting people and blocking people. And, you know, it's, be, it's almost become like a stumbling block and hindrance to me. And everybody's always told me to delete them and block them. And I thought it was just mean to do that. But, you know, if it's going to cause me to, to get into my flesh or to sin or to, you know, to get my focus off of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ or your focus off the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I was just showing this in Nepal. I know nothing about this region. Then, um, uh, I will. Look at this plane. Airport. Everybody just remember all of this. There's an airport. I don't even know what that says, but I'm going down. I will delete and block if it comes to that because, you know, our walk is always about Jesus Christ. Once you put to the, your hand to the plow, it says you don't look back. You know, we have work to do for the Lord. And, of course, there's going to be people who scoff and get angry and mad. But that cannot stop you from being a watchman. And watchman isn't about hurting other people. It's about doing the work of the Lord. I come against all these people who are out hurting other brothers and sisters in the Lord and rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you for hurting God's children in the name of Jesus. You know, their, their words can hurt. And rather than build up, they tear down. Someone told me yesterday I was devoid of the Holy Spirit. I didn't get that memo, but shame on anybody that would say that about anybody. I really would question their walk. I want to go check out this river and then I'll close. 
And uh, I'll review it and see what the Lord has shown. The Himalayas from the air. P help me pray over this because uh, I will. Buddha. Nepal Airport. Uh, the Lord always shows me this things for a reason. Like I said, I, this word is in Jeremiah 20. And it's been on my heart for a couple hours now. And I just can't shake it. Said something about dolphins. Let's just go down and take a look. Okay, man. Okay, so I'm just going to end right there. The, the, the Holy Spirit told me to come in here and put the dolphins are dying. And so I'm going to, and then close. The dolphins are dying in Peru. Why are the dolphins dying in Cape Cod? Why are all the dolphins dying? That's a good question. Oh, look, measles. Remember my video on measles? What year is this? 11, 2013. So dolphins can get measles, huh? Let's check out. Let's do this by date. The relevance. It should automatically be by date, right? They're dying because of me with a little virus from Florida. Or, okay, here we go. Let's look at this. Are humans behind the massive dolphin die off along the U U.S. Midwest Atlantic coast? Environmental degradation might be amplifying the effects of a measle like virus fueling infections that are propelling an alarming death count. And this is Virginia Beach. So let's remember that. That bookmark. Um, just Google this, I guess. Why do onions make us cry? Because they can. I, mean, I have one more thing. Thank you, Jesus. Thanks. I'm gonna, okay. You know, you can hear from God. We all can hear from God. That's what I was going to say about when I was in the shower. Uh... I was I was I was praying to God on my knees and I was wondering why is it that people think or or teach that we can no longer hear from God we can no longer be shown things from God uh, you know God can no longer talk to us when did that start who who presented that idea I'll tell you who Satan he would love for you to think that um, that we can't hear from God or we're not in a relationship with God that he can't show us things. If that's the truth, then he's you're calling God a liar because the Bible says, I am the Lord and I change not. If people could hear from him then, then we can hear from him now. If he could appear as a burning bush to Moses, who are, who is anybody to say that he could... Uh, you know, how, show us some kind of sign in the year 2014. If you say anything otherwise, and this is really on my heart, that people can't hear or be shown things from God, you're calling God a liar. You're saying his word is, is untrue. And really, honestly, just pray about that. I'm going to end on this. Just flowing. You know, the Holy Spirit, I asked the Holy Spirit, to fall upon this house today. And you know what happened? He showed up. Asking you shall receive. A lot of people are. Wow this is today's date. A, a lot, uh, look at this. 3-7. Some people say that's numerology. Not if God gave it to me. He didn't. God created numbers. There's a book of numbers in the Bible. 3 days this. 7 days that. 40 years this. Let's look at this. Oh my goodness, look. 
Since 1997, measles cases have ranged from a low of 37. Wow. Yeah, I said 37. Let the Lord speak to us today. What is He trying to tell us today? That there's coming in pestilence and outbreaks and famine. Where you're seeing the drought here in California. And they will push, even in Hawaii, an 11 month old infant. The Philippines. Uh, wow. It all seems to be coming from the Philippines. San Francisco, right here. This is really current. I did a video about this. That came from the Philippines also. Dallas, Texas. Grant County, Washington. Rochester, New York. Uh, North Texas. Cambridge, Massachusetts. Rockland County, New York. Albany, New York. Wisconsin. Measles breaking out everywhere. Troy, New York. Silverton, Oregon. Someone in California, the first case of 2014, Clark County, Washington. Um, King County, Washington. What, I mean, I, I, I'm just going to put a link to this, okay? And hit end. I'm going to put a link to this. I believe the Lord's trying to show us something today. You know why? He's a good God and he cares about us. And so be in prayer over why the Lord is showing us this today. And, and, uh, and know one thing and one thing is that God loves you. And he will protect and provide for you. Keep the faith. Keep the faith.